Hello and welcome to the second race of the Swiss Drone League. The former cellulose factory in the Atosols area with its half-crumbled industrial buildings, the graffitis and the big chimney was an ideal location for a spectacular drone race. Pilot Downwind talks about his first impressions before the race. Eine Hammerkulisse, wie man es eigentlich von einem Simulator kennt. Wirklich ein Abbruchgebäude und um jetzt hier mal ein Rennen zu fliegen ist. Ich freue mich drauf. Wir fliegen wieder draußen und es hat, äh, ja, ich würde sagen, ziemlich schwierige Passagen. Wie könnte das enden mit, äh, mit dem Material an diesem Wochenende? Ja, es gibt wirklich drei, vier Stellen, wo ein harter Gegenstand im Weg ist, also Beton oder Stahlsäulen und ich denke, wenn man da wirklich ein Battle hat, Mann gegen Mann, dann kann es schon Schäden geben. <lacht> the season standings after our first race in Luzern. Marv FPV is in the lead with a jump of about 30 points ahead of Swift, Downwind and Temple Claws. As always, the KO phase is a hard part for everybody, as anything can happen. A lot of crashes happened because of this demanding track. Also, the spectators enjoyed the thrilling races in the Atosols area. Marv FPV was again the fastest pilot in the qualification and flew without any problems up to the semi-finals. Here he meets Temple Claws, Lazy and Risket. In round 2, the early crash of Lazy. He hits the drop gate and crashes into the tower, which puts him on the fourth place. That means the detour over the loser round, together with Riskit. Riskit shows very good skills, but cannot hold up to Temple Claws and Marv FPV. Marv FPV races like on rails, which leaves only the second place for Temple Claws. The first two finalists are Marv FPV and Temple Claws. Exciting is also Heat 4.2. Pilot Izzy benefits from two unexpected crashes. Oh, battle of Rafino and Downwind. On oh, the third place, Izzy. They are battling for the first and the second place. Downwind now in the lead. Downwind still in lead, right in front of Rafino. Is he still on third place? Crash of Rafino. Uh, we didn't see that one. And it doesn't seem like he can fly again, so... If Izzy gets to the finish line, he will be second of this race. One last round for Izzy. He just has to finish his rounds and get into the through the finish gate and he will finish as the second place. Oh, crash. Oh. He stands on a lot of pressure right now. I mean, he's the only one, but he has to get through this. Otherwise, he will still be third and not get through this race. So, full concentration on him right now. And into the finish! That's one happy guy here. Because of the crashes of Rafino and LCT, Izzy gets to the next round. Besides the losses of Swift and Downwind, which both flew a very good qualification, there were no more surprises. The following pilots competed in the final. Marv FPV, Tempo Claws, Lazy and Flow FPV. Oh, a little bit of a bad start from Flow FPV. And he already crashed into the drop gate. Uh, he's still flying. Marv in the lead. 
behind Temple Claws, and right behind him is Lazy. Floor FPV has to get back to them. Marv FPV is flying absolutely fast. Oh, he's extending his lead uh, in front of Temple Claws. Temple Claws can't hold up to this. Lazy a few seconds mm, crash from Lazy. He pushed a little bit too hard on this case. Floor FPV another crash from him right there. That puts him further behind Temple Claws and Marv FPV. Marv FPV still without any single error right here. Temple Claws half a track behind him. Doesn't seem like he can get this one. No, he can't. Marv FPV in the finish. He wins his second race. And Temple Claws comes in as second. So FPV is finishing his lap. If he finishes this one, he will come in as the third. And through the finish, and he is also done. This means Marv FPV wins his second race and a second grill in a row and joining him on his podium are Temple Claws and Flow FPV. The standings after two races. Marv FPV extends his lead and is already 100 points ahead of Swift, Downwind and Temple Claws. See you again at the next race in Bern.